Alright, this is a video I'm going to make for all the referees out there. Uh, give you a, a little bit of an idea what the, the divisions are going to look like and the rules within them. Because there are quite a few. And uh, we'll have a booklet at each mat so that you can have a quick reference for what is and isn't illegal or legal in each division as they change throughout the day. So don't be scared to check that if you're unsure in between matches. Um, Alright, so the first division, we'll start with the youngest at the beginning of the day and work our way up. The youngest is going to be ages 4 through 6, so 4, 5, and 6 year olds. And we're going to be doing a guard game, which is uh, very similar to what Sorashido does for a lot of their kids' tournaments. Um, essentially, a guy will start in the guard, uh, and another guy on top. Uh, top guy has to break the guard and pass to a solidifying position. So anything other than half guard, essentially, holding him down. Um, that would be a point if that happens, and then they'll reset back to the guard. It'll be a one minute match, and after that they'll switch positions and do another one minute match. So that each person gets a chance on top and bottom. The bottom guy has a chance to score points if he A, reverses a position, if he ends up on top for a count of three, or B, if uh, he disengages and stands to his feet, that's an instant win for him, he gets a point. And so obviously once both rounds are done, both people have been top and bottom, then it'll add up the points, winner takes it. Uh, any, any draws that happen, um, either within the match or for the medal uh, placement, will be determined by a 30 second overtime. There'll be two 30 seconds, so same thing as before, one guy goes top, one guy goes bottom for 30 seconds, and then vice versa. And the person who gets the, um, their first point fastest will take it. So it will be once it'll be 30 seconds maximum, and if there's no points, then it'll be the other guy has a chance, and whoever gets a point first will be the one that'll be the time to beat basically for the next guy. So uh, there's there's not a whole lot to worry about on the four, five, and six, but as we get to the seven and eight year olds, we're starting to do submissions from then forward. There'll be a, a few more as we go throughout the tournament. Um, Okay, limited submissions, you're going to have legal submissions, are very limited. Arm bars, triangles, no pulling on the back of the head for the seven and eight year olds. Kimuras, rear naked chokes, collar chokes, no Ezekiels. So, um, we need to use extreme care, especially in the kids divisions, when it comes to submissions, that we stop them early. And by that I mean, say, I've got, I'm, pretend I'm seven years old, I've got an arm bar here, and I hold it like this, it's straight, I'm not doing anything about it, but he, give this guy two seconds and tell him, you've got a couple seconds to get out, if nothing changes, that's the match. The moment it goes past straight, that's a tap, and whether he taps or not, stop the match. Same thing with Kimuras, if, like, kids have very bendy arms, so if you get my guard, very bendy arms, so if they end up right here, uh, and uh, give him the same option. You have a couple seconds to, to change it. If he manages to get it out, great. If he doesn't, and he's here, tap. If he starts going here, tap. Like, you don't... You've got uh, no benefit of the doubt in this. You just, you want them to be safe and, uh, and don't want irate parents, trust me, yelling that their kid's arm got blown. Uh, but they should be pretty straightforward. Chokes are very easy to see, um, and kids tap very fast to chokes anyways. But same thing applies. Um, okay, so there will be points for position in this division as well. Uh, very simple. They will start standing. They're not going to start on the ground. But if they want to sit to their butt, there's no penalties for that if they're not comfortable with takedowns, or if their coach isn't comfortable with takedowns and they just sit down right away, that's fine. Um, but if there's a takedown, it's two points. Uh, two points for a sweep or reversal. It doesn't matter um, if they're on bottom and they end up on top for a count of three, that's two points. doesn't matter if it's a sweep or a reversal. Um, three points for any form of side control, the side, scarf, knee on belly, north, south, anything past the hips, hold it for three seconds, that's three points. And then four points for mount, four points for back. So, uh, really easy to keep track of that way. Okay, if, if either of the competitors start crying during any part of the match, and it happens because you get overwhelmed, that's considered a verbal tap uh, in the match, and the person not crying obviously wins. Uh, it doesn't mean that they're disqualified from the division, it just means that they're done that match. That's, 
they, they don't want you don't want kids to get so frustrated and overwhelmed that they're not having a good time. Uh, and it's round robin anyways, so they'll have lots of chances to, to get back at it. All right, uh, ties are going to be determined by a uh, first points win over time. So since we've got points for position, generally it'll end up being a takedown, but if they sit down, then it'll be the first guard pass or whatever. Is the moment somebody gets points, that's the winner. And that'll determine either ties in matches or ties for medal placement as well. If there's a tie for first, second, or third, then those two will go at it to figure out who gets what. All right, uh, ages 9 through 12, a few more submissions are allowed. So as with the last one, we have arm bars, triangles, but you can pull the head from 9 years old up. You can pull the head in the triangle, that's fine. Uh, kimuras, rear naked chokes, collar chokes. You're also allowed guillotines and omoplatas. So uh, front guillotine is fine, omoplata is fine. Same thing with the omoplata is kids got bendy arms. Don't try to see how far it'll go, because I'm sure it can go farther and they may complain, but if they're stuck in it, get them out of it. That's it. Give them a couple seconds. If they don't get out, get them out. And yeah, matches are going to be three minute rounds this time. Uh, the seven and eight were two minutes, sorry, but uh, the nine and twelve are three minutes. Same thing with uh, compares if they start crying, that's a verbal forfeit. And same thing with ties, it'll be first points OT. Uh, into the teens, 13 through 17 year olds, so just below adult essentially. Uh, submissions will be allowed. Uh, we're going to have arm bars, triangles, pulling the heads, uh, kimuras, rear naked chokes, collar chokes, guillotines, Ezekiel's are allowed. So from 13 years old up, you can Ezekiel, that's fine. Um, Omoplata's wrist locks are allowed, scissor takedowns are allowed, and scissor leg chokes are allowed. Uh, this is going to be a submission only division. It'll be essentially the same thing as the adult snogi. There's no points for position in this one. There'll be four minute rounds. Uh, a few less submissions allowed than the adults, but other than that, it's just it's pretty close to what they're doing. So, um, same thing applies with, uh, with safety. Uh, we'll, we'll let things go a little bit further as we get into the adults because they generally know more escapes and um, know their threshold a little better. So, uh, and all the kids and teens, just be very, very cautious with submissions. Once they go on, be right there ready to stop them and be, be loud about it too. Don't just say, okay, stop, just, all right, we're done, you know? So give them, give them a guaranteed finish to it. Uh, okay, and then we'll go into the recreational and championship divisions after that. We're gonna run two of each Per mat, and let me explain that better. We've got four mats. Two of them will be doing recreational. Two of them will be doing championship at the same time. Uh, we're going to have two divisions on any given mat at any given time, going back and forth between the two. So there's rests for each person in each division. Uh, but yeah, they'll be running simultaneously, and they're all going to be nogi, uh, four-minute rounds, five-man divisions by weight, and uh, yeah, win, lose, or draw system. Any. Um, Ties for meddling will end up going to uh, to first points over time, just like before. Uh, yeah, championship division. Uh, absolutely. Okay. They're between the recreational and the championship. Uh, essentially, recreational is white belts. Championship is blue and everything else. Uh, the major differences between them will be. Uh, there's a couple things that aren't allowed in the recreational that are allowed in the championship, and they include twisters and toe holds. So those are not allowed in the recreational, but are allowed in the blue belt now, the championship. Uh, yeah, absolute division will consist of the winners of all the championship divisions going at it. There'll be um, six minute rounds, no points for position. Uh, if there's draws, if there's no submission at the end of six minutes, it'll be first points overtime again. Um, once we get to the semifinals, they're ten minute matches, and then the final is no time limit, so there will be a submission one way or another. And uh, yeah, winner takes the belt for that one. Once we get to the gi divisions, uh, we're going to do white belts will be a double elimination, and blue and everything else will be single elimination, eight man brackets. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty much the same uh, format as far as submissions are concerned as the recreational and the championship. Same thing. 
the only difference is by belts, there's different time limits. There'll be uh, five minute white belts, six minute blue, eight minute purple, brown and black are tan. Uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I've uh, written a disclaimer that I've also put up on the website and also uh, verbally describe at the event that referees have the right to disqualify a competitor for any of the actions, any illegal actions without warning. Warnings may be given, it's up to you. If the infraction is deemed to be accidental, if someone, um, I don't know, just let's say someone jumps guard while the guy was was sort of coming towards him and ends up inadvertently slamming him. As long as the guy can keep going and you think it's inadvertent, just give him a warning. Uh, only one warning will be given per type of infraction. So anything illegal that happens, you can give up to one warning for that type of infraction. No more than two warnings will be given within a match, so the third one of any kind, accidental or not, will be disqualification from that match. Not from the division, but from the match. But if anyone gets DQ'd from two matches, then they're DQ'd from the division. And um, I also said if anyone's getting belligerent with the ref about a DQ or anything else, you have the right, and I strongly recommend to DQ them from the tournament in general. We don't need those attitudes around. We're going to have a fun, clean sportsman type event. And if people are start swearing or, or cursing or spitting at you, that's, that's it for them. They're out. So any questions, feel free to ask. Hopefully that uh, covers some stuff. I'll go over things again the morning of, and uh, I'll have those booklets available. So hope that uh, works. It should be a really easy one to ref, and it's going to be a lot of fun. We'll see you there.